Asana just rolled out a new update when it comes to workload and capacity planning. And I think a lot of you are going to like it. For the first time, we're able to actually gain capacity at the project level for individuals. Whereas before we'd have to go into every single task, add our measure of effort, add that to the portfolio, add that to the workload to see where our people were resourced. Those days are over. Let's look at the demo. So the way that we're going to access this, this global capacity planning is not at the portfolio level. You're going to go to the global reporting and you're going to click create. So now we have dashboards. Of course, we know we have workload view. Of course, we know. But now we have this new capacity planning where you can schedule staffing for projects. So what I'm going to do, it, it's brought me in here. OK, and it's showing that I am assigned to this one project. This is our new 2024 ebook launch. I'm also going to add myself to a couple of other projects. Let's see if we can get some some color in here. Let's add this one in here. There we go. And so we can actually slip these around in time like we would for any task or project on a timeline view or on the workload view. We can assign um, times for these projects for the individual. So here we have marquees assigned to office hours and I'm going to add in the percentage allocation because as you can see that's how we're measuring this effort in this case. And so I do office hours let's say once a week. So this is maybe 5% of my time and I'm doing it you know over this duration of time from Feb 12th all the way to March the 18th. Okay. Then we have this asset approval project right here. We can move this around and, you know, we can say this is, you know, 10%. And then we've got this CRF hero UI asset, I don't know, 50%. And there we go. So now we can see, you know, graphically over time what my weekly capacity is based on these projects. And so again, this is a huge step because a lot of the times what I hear quite often is we don't have the time to get granular and go and put the percentage allocation or the estimated time in it every single time task we can't do that and we can't ask our teams to do that either so now project managers and individuals can come in and put in their own capacity what they estimate they'll be assigned to for these types of projects over time so what's really nice about this is we can have the values on or we can have the values off we got some flexibility there we can view for today we can look at the weeks view month view day view uh, we can filter by the different team members that we want here and i'll show you what that looks like in a second but we can also on the fly change the measure of effort so we can look at project count to see exactly how many projects you're assigned to if we have a uh, a policy that we don't want any individual in a role let's say assigned to this many projects I think a good use case is a project manager how many projects can they really manage at a time effectively right we would be able to see that they're overloaded from that perspective we just looked at percentage allocation but we can also see estimated time as well so again you have to have this time assigned and you are planning but again you don't have to do it at the task level anymore you can just say how much time feel you be assigned to those projects and you can set that capacity what's cool about this is if you you know all of a sudden on this this project anymore you can right click on it you can delete that allocation um, it also deletes the project but then you can always pull it back in and and slip it around and update it like that and so where this gets really handy is what i'm going to show you next so now we can add people so i'm going to add in few folks from my team okay so now we've got all of our different folks um, that we can pull in here and we can do something like this so as you can see both me and happy Gilmore are assigned to this new 2024 ebook launch here happy Gilmore is assigned at 50% I'm assigned at 20% let's just stretch this out because they're working on the project longer maybe I'll, I'll pull mine over here and I'm just coming in towards the tail end and all I'm going to be doing is approving the ebook creation let's say all right so throughout that week the week of March 18th to whatever I'm going to be approving you know that that project and so it's really nice now is you can go in and click on the project you'll see all the project details here like we can at the portfolio level if you scroll all the way down we can now see all the different staffing and the resources here in one view so cool right we can do the same right if Nadia was on this project so let's just search up new um, and let's bring in this other resource let's bring in Matthias so now we've got new here as well stretch that out stretch this out and let's say all hands on deck you know, Matthias is assigned 100%, Nadi is assigned at 30%. Over this time, when we go back into our view here, we can now see where everyone is actually set up at. 
As many of you already know, I run a consulting company called Surface, which is a proud Asana partner. We specialize in a variety of Asana services, including training and workflow optimization. Whether you're in the process of introducing your team to Asana because you're transitioning over from another tool, or you're already using Asana but feel like you're not quite getting the most of its potential, we're here to help bridge that gap. Our training is tailored to fit your team's size, workflows, and skill levels so that you can get the most out of your Asana investment. Head over to surface.com for more information or book a connect call using the link in the description. But now, as you can see, we have, let's actually go back in for a second. We have half the team that's at 50% um, based on percentage allocation, and we have half the team that's at um, estimated hours in this case. So you want to be careful when you're switching back and forth. Of course, there are use cases where you might want to track percentage, you know, for some people or track hours for some folks. But as you can see, I can edit this because I'm currently tracking estimated hours. But if I want to track this right here, you kind of just hover over it. It says switch your effort to percentage allocation to edit that. So you want to make sure that if this is your view where you're looking at percentage allocation and we can obviously go and like rename what this is so this could be like that right we want to make sure that we are only tracking percentage allocation in this case so i'm going to remove these right quick and i'm going to switch to percentage allocation and then for maddie when i bring in his projects then i can put him at 50 percent put him back over where he was supposed to be so we're getting consistent information across the board and same thing with nadia i'll put nadia in back at 30 percent, and then nadia i will slip over here in time as well so some really cool features again i, I said we can filter this as well so if we just want to see you know one resource we can we can apply that filter and see where their time is going against their varying projects what i don't like about this just yet is as you can see like this role here, this role is tied to my profile, all right? You're following where I'm going with this? But if I go to the project here, my role, let's actually go into the office hours project and go to our overview section. My role is no longer a sauna expert, like it says in my profile, right? It's project owner. And so I can change, you know, the title, we can add a role here. So this can be, this person can be an Asana expert, right? And then we're done. So let's do one more. Let's add another role, another Asana expert. Just keep in mind what I'm typing in here. Okay, so let's go back to our report, percentage allocation. And so you can see it didn't change Maddie's role, right? He's still a solutions engineer that's tied to his profile, right? The one that he, you know, added in his name and his email and pronouns and then bio and all that kind of stuff. So I think Asana is still missing something here where we should have the ability to create global roles. And that role is your job title. And you can be assigned that role to varying projects because what we are missing here is if I have 20 designers or 20 content writers and they're freelance, I wanna see based on the role who I have who has capacity and who's available. So this filter, I think, should be able to sort through the different roles that we've assigned inside of Asana. And then one step further is if we are planning projects, I think we should be able to have a space where we can either have placeholder projects, right? Or we can have placeholder roles as well. So for future planning and capacity. So Asana, if anyone of you on the product team are watching this, I'll probably send you this video. We'd love to see that next. I'm sure you've got this on the roadmap, but to put in placeholders for roles, and projects and to search by role to see who's available would take this new amazing feature to the next level but let me know what you think leave your comments down below again if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe hit the notification icon so that you never miss a video and please share this with someone if you think it would help them in their asana journey as always thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video bye for now